Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Baby to Sleep. So today we're on part 14, night 12. Um, but rather than spending the time really talking too much about Alicia's sleep, um, I actually want to, um, uh, suppose in a way, um, tell everybody that's watching, all you mums, dads, carers, anything, anybody that is literally working their backsides off and raising children, to give yourselves a break, to stop being so hard on yourself, um, and stop pushing so much. Um, you can probably tell I don't look too hot today. <laughs> um, and it's not down to Alicia's sleep, but yesterday I overdid it. And to be fair, I've been overdoing it for ages. Um, I never give myself a break and I'm probably the biggest hypocrite because if anybody's worked with me, you'll know one of the things I always tell you to do is give yourself some time, take some time for you. And I am probably the worst person for this. Um, I just don't stop. I just keep going and keep going. And my body has basically decided to crash on me yesterday. Um, I definitely overdid it, but I kind of, I probably went a bit too far. Um, so obviously I got up yesterday and the first thing I did after dropping off Sophia at school and Alicia at nursery was start building a bed, start moving everything around the room, tidying up. And I was in agony, so then it was like, right, I need to have a bath because I need to actually try and relax my body a little bit here. Do I have a relaxing bath? No, I take the phone into the bath with me and I'm working while I'm actually in the bath. So I'm not actually relaxing at all. I'm not resting. Um, so then I get out and then it's basically, right, okay, you need to do my video. Then it's like, right, get it uploaded. Got to try and sort the washing out. Got to sort the bins out. Right, now I need to go and get Sophia. And to be fair, we had a really actually lovely afternoon. I picked you up a minute. I took it to Charlie's in Gatley, which is a really lovely little dessert restaurant. Um, because she'd been so, so good the other night when, um, obviously if you've watched yesterday's video, you'll know that I was going on about her, the two hour trauma in trying to get Alicia to go to bed that night, which was pretty awful and how absolutely incredible Sophia had been. Um, so as a treat, I took her to Charlie's, which was just really nice. And she sat there with her crepe with chocolate sauce, Smarties and sprinkles, which is specifically what she'd asked for. Um, so that was really, really nice. So we went there. Um, but then it was a case of come home, pick Alicia up um, <clears throat> and just chase around like you do. Um, she decided to try and kick off again like she did the night before, but that was only for half an hour, so it wasn't so bad. Got a Sophia down and then it was right, okay, got the kids down, now I've got to work. And I was just working and working and working. And then I was on a phone call to one of my clients and I started feeling really, really, really bad. I was shaking. Now, bearing in mind, what I'd also done yesterday was a really stupid thing. I'd not really eaten. So I'd had a bowl of cereal and then I had a, some, a sandwich. And then after that, the next time I ate was actually in the dessert restaurant where I had this lovely cookie dough thing, but it was about four o'clock. And that was pretty much all I ate all day. Um, so I think probably by this time I'd probably crashed and burned. And I sat there on the phone and I was feeling sick. I was shaky. I was sweaty. I was like, this is not good. And eventually I got off the phone after I'd called them back to finish the call. And I got off the phone and I went to bed. I literally left everything where it was and just went to bed. And I was asleep before 10, which is unheard of for me. Um, I don't normally go to bed till about half past 11. Um, so to be asleep before 10 was just unreal. And I just crashed and burned. I had a headache all night. I took paracetamol. I took ibuprofen. Nothing was shifting it. Um, and I just felt dreadful. And to be fair, it's because I'm not looking after myself, which I know you probably don't either. <laughs> um, I'm no different to anybody else. We put our kids before ourselves. We put our partners before ourselves. We just basically keep going and keep going. And sometimes our bodies say enough's enough. Um, and today I'm going to listen to that and I'm going to try and take it a bit slower today because I do feel absolutely dreadful. Um, but that's just life, isn't it, really, I suppose. But today I'm going to take a little bit of my own advice and I am going to take a bit of rest, bit of rest, because tomorrow is going to be a long day working. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and just not do as much today, um, and see how we get on for tomorrow is a very long one. So that's that. So on topic of last night, very quickly. So yeah, so she tried to kick off again, but I thought, right. I've just got to get her down now. So I just sat with her and let her cuddle into me. 
and eventually she went back to, she went to sleep and it was it wasn't so traumatic half past six she was down um so we got to spend a little bit of time with Sophia before we came to bed and then um she woke herself up coughing at 12 o'clock last night but she was easy to settle so that was just the fact she was coughing her head off and then the annoying thing is she actually went right through she slept till about five ish um but the problem was i kept waking up because she kept crying in her sleep which was really annoying um she'd be absolutely fine she'd just cry out move over change position and be quiet and be back asleep again unfortunately i had to wake up to it um but yeah 10 to 5 i woke up to her in her sleep going mine 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 out 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 mine out i was like what's going on at about 10 past 5 she was up for the day um and literally we tried to get her back to sleep she was just so tired um she kept wanting to go on the boob and i was like no so eventually i ended up putting a jumper on um, so she couldn't get there because she was literally fighting. I was like, no, we're not going backwards. We've, we've took this step now. She knows. Um, she's a big girl. She's so clever. I'm so proud of her. All these things. And she loves it. Um, even a smoothie didn't work this morning. She just could not seem to get back to sleep. But to be fair, she'd had ten and a half hours kip. So it's extremely difficult. But she did a lot of practicing this morning. And she really did try and go back to sleep. Um, so I'm much more hopeful for tonight now because that was a big improvement on the night before. Um, so let's just see where tonight goes. But I'm serious with all of you. Please don't do what I keep doing. I'm going to have to start putting my foot down with myself. Look after yourselves, please. Um, you know, try and take some time if you can. If things aren't too great, you know, Take some downtime or something. Ask for help from somewhere if you can. Um, and just look after yourself because you don't end up doing what I did last night. It was pretty rubbish, to be fair. Um, and I, I have hit burnout. So, yeah, it's just life, isn't it, really, I suppose. Um, but, yeah, don't follow my example. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I think that's what they say, isn't it? Um, <laughs> uh, but, yes, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. And I will hope let you know how it goes tonight. Um, I have got a little video as well of introducing Sophia, uh, Alicia to her bed last night. Uh, I might share it. We'll see. Okay. We'll see you later. Bye.